beautiful girl, Arden Lily. Now, before I take her, listen. My wife, as Tim was saying, my wife, Pastor Angela, J. Dean, three of our other ladies are ministering this weekend and over this past few days in Peter Maritzburg, South Africa, in one of our beautiful connected churches that we have there, God's Family Life Center, with Pastor Greg and Nolene Smearden. You remember Pastor Greg? They're going to be back here for our October conference, Stronger, in, on October the 11th. Listen, God is doing so much there and having such a powerful breakthrough. I just had to give you a little bit of a testimony about that. But one of the things that Pam, she said that one thing I was most disappointed about the dates of this is she said she wanted to be here. So she told me that that uh, I have to hug Arden for her, especially so for my wife. But let me let me take her and let me show her off. She is so. Isn't she beautiful? Isn't she gorgeous? Man, I'm telling you. This one is so awesome. You guys need to make more because she's really pretty. She's really pretty. Listen, God is so much about children because every child is not just a person, it's a destiny. There's a calling, there's an assignment. And so when we bring our children to the house of the Lord, we follow God's commandments and, and his example in scripture. Jesus' parents brought him to the temple, to the house of the Lord. Amen? And when we dedicate our children to the Lord, we're not just dedicating them, but we're dedicating ourselves. And all of those who will be around them, all the family, all the people in the church, people that will be around, that we're dedicating ourselves to raise them in the fear of the Lord, to know Jesus, and to help them walk in their destiny. And that's what we do. Amen? Amen. Would you just extend your hands right now to Arden Lily Slade. Lord, we thank you today. Lord, as I hold this beautiful baby girl in my hand, God, that's a miracle. She's an answer to a promise, God. Lord, I thank you today that your hand is upon her life. And I'm so privileged today, God, to hold her in my hands, God. As we say to you, Lord, as you've given to us, Lord, we give and dedicate her life to you, her destiny. We dedicate ourselves, Lord God. Lord, that, that she will grow up knowing, God, who you are. Knowing her destiny, knowing her purpose, oh God. And Lord, we thank you above everything, Lord Jesus, that you who have begun a good work, you are faithful to complete it. And Jesus, we just ask you right now, as we present her to you, that your blessings would be upon her, God. Lord, I just see such a unique sensitivity to spiritual things in her life, in her heart. God, as I'm just holding her here, Lord, I just see your hand upon her that is going to bless her. And, and I feel like that, that and, and I say this with Marshall and Trudy, I just feel like she's going to have this unique combination of sensitivity and a little bit of stubbornness too. And I believe that God is going to balance those things out in her life. And I believe that God is going to use that to propel her into the leader that God is creating her to be. And I believe God is giving you the wisdom as a family and as parents to raise her and to be able to guide her in those directions. And she's going to grow and emerge and you're going to see the hand of God and his blessing cover her. So Lord, we just thank you for that and we seal this word before you today. And we thank you for the beautiful opportunity we have to stand together. Lord, join together, God, with this family in your house today. Lord, to dedicate this beautiful baby to you. And we thank you for it. In Jesus' name. And Marshall, you, had, you said you wanted to pray. Grab that microphone right there. Because I've got something more important than the microphone. And just push it. It's on the bottom. Yeah, it's on. All right, good deal. Well, last night I went to my time with God, and I, I said, well, God, I, I need something for my daughter because I don't have exactly what we thought we were having a boy. So we named our boy Malachi, and we ended up with a girl, so we had to change the name, and the whole everything just, just changed. But God gave me what I had for her. And it came out in a poem, poem form, so I want to just read it, and it's to you, Arden. We'll have this forever for you. 
I looked for your name in the word to find profound meaning and purpose, but I could not find you. I searched the endless reach of the world wide web to learn of your significance. Still, I could not find you. I could not find you when I looked into the crowd of others that were bigger, possibly stronger, and more advanced than you were. Although I checked all the charts, searched the spectrums, even examined your every nuance critically, I was left empty and confused because I couldn't find you. I was looking at you, but I couldn't see you, Arden. I was looking at you, but I was seeking affirmation that you were special. I was looking at you, but I was searching for signs of imperfection. I was looking at you, but I didn't see your passion, the passion that you were born in from God, born to set the world on fire. I didn't see that you are the relentless pursuit of God's will given to this family to set us free and show us that impossibilities are not impossible at all. You were given to a family that was desperate for a miracle. You were given to show us that, over, that overcoming obstacles is what God does. And the hurdles and the, and, and the things that your predecessors, including me and your mom and the rest of your family, stumbled and quit over, you won't quit. You will stumble, you will fall, but you won't quit. And for that reason, God has birthed you into our lives. For this time, God has called you into beating. So I declare over your life right now, Arden, and I just speak to you, run, daughter, run. Let your feet be shared with the preparation of the gospel of peace. And don't let anything stop you. For any moment, for any reason, let no obstacle overcome you. Run, daughter, run, because God is with you. I declare that to be true over your life and ours from this point forward in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 There's something powerful in a father's blessing. And I wanted to speak to him. And for the whole family. You guys all are going to have a part in the adventure of this one right here. And she's beautiful. Amen. God bless you. I'm going to give her back to you, Marshall, just as the spiritual head of your house. And I believe that as the two of you and as your whole family comes together, that you are going to see such great testimonies and great creativity arise out of her. Amen. So we'll just present this to you today. Thank you. God bless you guys. Let's give the Lord another offering of praise. Amen. Thank you.